When exploring the world of batteries, two terms often pop up. Amp hour and watt hour. But what's the difference? Let's break it down. First up, amp hour. Amp hour, abbreviated as AH, is a measure of a battery's electrical storage capacity. It tells you how much current a battery can theoretically provide over a period of time. You can have a 100 amp hour battery at 12 volts, a 100 amp hour battery at 24 volts, or a server rack at 100 amp hour at 48 volts. All of these batteries have a different energy capacity. Now, when someone asks how big your battery is, you shouldn't say it's 100 amp hours, because it depends on the voltage of the battery. That's why we will use watt hours to accurately measure the energy capacity of a battery, because watt hours takes into account the voltage of the battery. Watt hours, or WH, represents the total energy a battery holds. It's the product of the battery's voltage and its capacity in amp hours. For instance, a 12 volt battery rated at 100 amp hours stores 1200 watt hours of energy, while a 100 amp hour battery at 24 volts stores double that for a total of 2400 watt hours, or a 48 volt 100 amp hour battery that stores 4800 watt hours of energy. This watt hour rating gives a clearer picture of how long a battery can power a device. If a fan requires 100 watts to run, the 1200 watt hour battery can theoretically power this for 12 hours. Because 1200 watt hours divided by 100 watts equals 12 hours. I say theoretically because a battery should never be discharged to 0%, whether it be lead acid or lithium. Use 50% of the capacity for a lead acid battery and 80% for a lithium iron phosphate battery. In essence, amp hours gives insight into a battery's capacity. Watt hours reveal the total energy it can store. So why do we use amp hours? This should be used to calculate the energy and discharge rate of a battery, also called C rate. The C rate of a lithium battery is 1 C, while it is 0.2 C for a lead acid battery. Knowing this, we can calculate the maximum charge and discharge current for the battery under normal conditions. For example, a 100 amp hour lithium battery can provide a current of 100 amps, while lead acid battery can only provide a current of 20 amps. A battery can provide more current, but that will decrease its lifespan because the cells will degrade faster. I talk more about C rate in my dedicated video about it. There will be a link in the description. Did you like this explanation? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more off-grid tutorials. Do you have video suggestions? Let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about it. And before you go, if you're interested in off-grid solar power, I'm giving away 7 different diagrams that you can use for your projects. These diagrams are designed to help set up your solar system efficiently. All you have to do is click the link below, provide your email and I will send them your way.